Hi, I'm Natalie. Hi, <laughs> I'm Jude. And we're here doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. The only one of these I watched was <laughs> Michael Caine was doing it. And every answer was about 10 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, oh, it's funny, you should ask that. And literally, Alan Arkin on the end was like going, What, Natalie Portman? <laughs> <laughs> what did Natalie Portman study? Psychology. <sighs> Just to talk later. I'm going to ask you about okay. something. What does Natalie Portman ooh. Ooh, do? Yeah, what does she do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I pretend to be other people. <laughs> I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> what does Natalie Portman look like now? This is it. What do you think? What, oh boy, <laughs> languages can Natalie Portman speak? English, I, I sort of. Hebrew was my first language. See my new movie, please. <laughs> what does Natalie Portman eat? Anything vegan and all the time. I'm eating all the time. What did Natalie Portman mm. invent? Nothing. Oh, oh. I've never invented anything. You know what, though? I'm not surprised people thought you, you were possibly an inventor. Thank you. That's so, so you know, kind because of you're, you. Know, you're smart, and I can imagine them sitting at home going... What if I, I was she, like, I she like, GPS? A, I bet she, like, invented something. <laughs> I should take credit for something. Yeah. Oh, I did come up with something the other day. What was it? Have you ever had gefilte fish? It's yes. Like Jewish food. You have horseradish on yes. the side. It's kind of the same thing as wasabi, right? Yeah. Juicy. No one's made it. Why don't they make sushi oh. with gefilte fish? Oh, right. So you no, no, that could be like a, a good no, branding, that's a, right? that's a kind of. Um, I invented that, you guys. That's I a Japanese uh, uh, Israeli kind of fusion, fusion. restaurant. Fusion. I like anyway, that. Anyway, you heard it here first. Oh, I don't like the styling of this. Is Jude Law? <laughs> Is Jude Law British? Yes, I am British. <laughs> Watch this, I'm going to go really fast. Is Jude Law Captain Marvel? No, I'm not. Brie Larson is Captain Marvel. Wow. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I'm just going to make sure the Marvel please aren't going to shoot me. No, I can say that. Is Jude Law left-handed? No. <laughs> See, That's such an gonna... interesting common yeah. Google about no, I'm you. I'm not. <laughs> is Jude Law a Spurs fan? That means Tottenham Hotspur. Oh. Yes, I am. Thank you for translating. I've been all my that. life. Is Jude Law related to Emma Thompson? Well, because I'm British. <laughs> All Brits are related, way back. Is Jude Law the voice of Jarvis in Iron Man? No, that's uh, Paul Bettany who goes on to play the embodiment of uh, uh, Jarvis, Vision. Wow, wow, you really ripped through those. Yeah, I did. Next. All right, where is Natalie Portman from? I was born in Jerusalem. I grew up mainly in New York. Where did Natalie Portman go to college? I went to Harvard. Did you? I did. Holy <laughs> man. When was Natalie Portman ooh, born? What a question. How to dare ask a lady. you? I was born in 1981. I was born in the 1900s. When did Natalie Portman become vegan? Seven years ago when I was about to give birth to my child, my first child. Reading the book Eating Animals, highly recommend it. Who is Natalie Portman friends with? Well, my closest friends are people you've probably never heard of. They're my friends from school. I have a few friends from work, work life, California life too. You got a lot of friends. I have so many friends, I'm so I've lucky. I've got like three friends. I'm so lucky. I'm jealous. You only have three friends? That's not true, I've seen you. Yeah, I've got you've, a couple I've seen you out. I've seen you out and about. I know, I've got a lot of acquaintances. I'm getting nervous about the dozes. Does Jude Law have yeah. tattoos? I do. I have just a couple on my forearms here, very small ones. Does Jude Law speak Spanish? Uh, no, I don't, but I think they may be asking that because there's a scene in The Young Pope. I learnt the scene in Spanish oh. because, because popes tend to speak uh, uh, multiple languages. So I learnt Italian and Spanish for the, for the, for the film. But you speak Italian now. Si, poco, poco, poco. That's pretty cool. Did Jude Law narrate Fargo? No. I wish I had. I love that film. It's a great movie. Oh, yeah. Interesting rumor. Yeah. Ooh. How old is Jude Law's daughter? Well, I have three daughters. I have an 18-year-old, I have a 7-year-old, and I have a 4-year-old. 
How old is Jude Law's sons? 22 and 16. How did Jude Law die? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that someone. Oh what I know, what I love about that is is they're just pretty certain I am dead, <laughs> and now they want to know how. This is this is how did you to me. die? There was a period when all my parts ended it rather gruesomely. I've had my brains bashed in. I've been blown up. Oh, I got shot. Did, did, did any of your family members get upset about it? Because I, my family members get very distressed. I did make the mistake of, of showing my son AI Ooh. a little bit too young. And when and, and G, uh, Gigolo Joe gets sort of sucked off by a giant magnet and kind of, I, you assume, pulled to pieces for scrap iron. It somewhat affected him. He was <laughs> um, like four years old. Uh, but <laughs> he's forgiven me. Oh my god, I didn't know there was more. Does Natalie Portman. This oh, is the does, does round. Does Natalie Portman. Oh boy. Does Natalie Portman have a sister? Uh-uh, I'm an only child. Does Natalie Portman have an Oscar? Damn right. I do. Thank you very much. Does Natalie Portman have naturally curly hair? Yes. I have a big, beautiful Jufro <laughs> that I iron out for special <laughs> events. Does Natalie Portman sing in Vox Lux? Yeah. I do. I do. I sing songs written by And some. By Sia. Does Natalie Portman sing Natalie's rap? Yes, I do. I do. It's on YouTube. You can check it out. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> what Jude Law? What the? <laughs> what was Jude what? Law's first movie? Uh, shopping, it was called. Uh, yeah, many, many, many years ago. What is Jude Law and a semester abroad about? Okay, I'm a bit embarrassed about this. This is a song called Jude Law and a Semester what? Abroad or something like that. Amazing. I'm not quite sure. I think I listened to it like once or twice years back when it came out, but I don't, I don't quite know what it's about. So if anyone knows, please let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna be Googling that later. What height is Jude Law? I wish I could say I was six foot one, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I'm a little shorter than that. On a good day, I'm six foot. On a bad day, I'm 5'11 <laughs> and a half. What's Jude Law's real name? Okay, this is a comp this is a really this is an annoying, <laughs> annoying truth. My parents stupidly had this idea to name me and my sister after their best friends. My, si my dad's <laughs> best friend is David and my sister's best friend is Andrew, but they never called us those names, That's ever. Really funny. So my middle name, Jude, is what my mum and dad, or everyone always calls me. So my name on my passport is David Jude Hayworth Law. Hayworth is my mum's maiden name. But no one's ever called me David. My, everyone's called me Jude, but I get people always like, oh, you changed your name to Jude because you're an actor. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Thanks, mum and dad. <laughs> What is Jude Law up to? <laughs> God knows. <laughs> what colour are Jude Law's eyes? Blue. They kind of change colour. Bluey green. Depends on what shirt you're wearing. Poly coloured. Well, I hope you learned something about <laughs> us. <laughs> Go see our movie Vox Lux, yeah. please. Yeah, and thanks for watching Autocomplete. <laughs>